What's the big difference about smooth and ring shank framing nails? Is there a difference? Does it matter which you use for your pole barn? It 100% does matter which you use for your post frame project. So I'm gonna demonstrate the difference between these nails and these nails. Or the ring shank, you can see the red heat activated glue there and then the ridges there in the nail. And these are the smooth shank. And see, shiny, work great for their application, but for post frame, these are the ones you wanna go with. We recently had someone contact us who had a brand new barn built, and unfortunately, the whole thing was constructed with smooth shank nails, which is a rookie mistake. So that builder obviously didn't know the proper nail to use, and here's the problem. At first, it'll perform great. And over time, as the wood expands and moves and things shift back and forth and wind hits that building, these nails will tend to work themselves out and the structure will be compromised. Whereas ring shank nails will hold much longer and stronger than the alternative. All right, guys, I'm no scientist, but this is the test I've come up with to see which of the nails hold better and how much they hold better. We've got a 15 inch board here that we're gonna place down, fire some nails through and see how well the different types of nails attach it and how well they hold. So we're starting with the smooth shank nails. Uh, we're gonna stick those in here and see what happens. We're gonna go with two nails. They're three inch nails. Both sets are three inch long nails. So here we go. Two nails there. Nice and tight, shot them in nice and flush. And I'm gonna just simply take my hand and see if I can pry these loose with just the leverage from this 15 inch board without a hammer. Now, as you can see, not a whole lot of resistance there. Now these nails are great for certain framing applications inside, but in most post frame applications, you really need a nail that does a better job holding long term than that. Now we're gonna test the ring shank nails, same length, same board. We left the two smooth shank part way pulled out here so you can see it's the same board. Nail this board in and see how hard it is to pull out if we can get it out by hand. So two nails. Set in the same place and let's see if we can do this. Those are in there good. I think if I pulled on it long enough, I might be able to get it out. But for today, so I don't pull a muscle, we're gonna use Mr. Hammer here to give us some leverage, get that loosened up first, and pull those out. As you can see, still removable, but a whole lot more holding power. Wasn't pulling it out easy with just my hand. All right, another highly scientific test. We got a six by six treated post here and I'm gonna nail this in just like we would uh, Gerd or Perlin, and we're gonna see the holding power of me standing on it with the smooth shank nails. Now I weigh about 200 plus pounds here, so this should be some good pressure on this and see what happens. We're gonna try to get it right out to the edge here so that we can measure it. We'll go three nails for this one. All right. putting a little weight on it and you can immediately see it start to pull and bend. Even with just a little bit of weight there. And there it goes. The ring shank, get it lined up the same way. Three nails. Let's see what happens when I step on it. I'm putting the same amount of pressure and you can see it going, but it's definitely taking a lot more weight. And I'm gonna have to put some more weight on it. Ah, there it goes. Again, definitely still can be pulled out, but those nails held on a whole lot longer, a whole lot stronger. So if you've been wondering what's the difference between smooth and ring shank, hopefully this video is helpful to you in explaining the difference and why one is superior to the other for post frame framing. We're not talking today about the 
truss to post connection or header connections where we use larger structural lags or bolts or larger nails. But for your overall general framing on your post frame building, whether you're building it or you're having a builder uh, construct it, you want to make sure that you're using ring shank for that, just for that extra holding power and that longevity that you want out of your post frame building.